Good day, STEM students. In this video, we're going to talk about uniformly accelerated linear motion, wherein velocity in a straight line motion is changing at a constant rate within time interval as a result of a constant acceleration. The most essential learning competency for this lesson is to solve for a known quantities in equation involving one-dimensional uniformly accelerated motion including free fall. In uniformly accelerated motion, the velocity changes at a fixed rate. An example of this is a bike increasing its velocity by 5 meters per second every 1 second. Solving for final velocity, displacement, and time can be easily done using derived equations called kinematic equations. We have four kinematic equations. The four kinematic equations describe the mathematical relationship between the parameter that describes an object's motion. We will use the kinematic equation to predict the numerical values of unknown quantities. The following symbols are used to represent the physical quantities. V sub i for the initial velocity, V sub f for final velocity. Some textbooks use V sub 1 or V sub o to represent initial velocity. A stands for acceleration and T represents time. X sub i for initial velocity position. Other books use letter D to represent distance instead of F. Example problem number one. The car of a college student in J. Hernandez Avenue starts from rest and reaches a velocity of 40 meters per second in 10 seconds. Letter A, calculate its acceleration. Letter B, if the acceleration remains the same, what will be its acceleration 5 seconds later? To solve this problem, let us first identify and list down the information in variable form. It is stated at, that the car starts from rest. Therefore, the initial velocity or the V sub i is equal to 0 meter per second. The final velocity or the V sub f is equal to 40 meter per second. T is equal to 10 seconds. The unknown physical quantity for question in letter A is the acceleration. It is represented by small letter A. For letter B, V sub F or the final velocity is the unknown variable. To compute for the acceleration, we will use the formula V sub F minus V sub I divided by T. Substituting all the values, we will get the value of of acceleration which is equal to 4 meter per second squared. Let us now solve the unknown quantity in letter B question. Here, initial velocity is equal to 40 meter per second. T is equal to 5 seconds. And we will use the computed value for acceleration, which is equal to 4 meter per second squared. The unknown is the final velocity, which is represented by V sub F. Next step, we have to select which kinematic equation we will be using. In this case, the three known variables in the one. One unknown variables are the V sub i, T, A, and V sub F. Among four kinematic equations, which equation or formula has this four variable listed in it? We will use equation number one. We will use equation number one and substitute all the values. V sub f is equal to V sub i plus a multiplied by t. 
V sub F is equal to 40 meter per second plus the product of 44 meter per second squared and 5 seconds. That will be equal to 40 meter per second plus 20 meter per second. Therefore, V sub F is equal to 60 meter per second. Okay, that's all. We will continue our discussion in the next video. Thank you so much.